Hi, welcome back to Jillian Corver, guys. This is another video in uh, JavaFX Library Management System Development Tutorial Series. And in the last video, we have seen how to edit and refresh. And the refresh part is done in the last video. And uh, before that, we added the edit option for editing posts. Now, there is one more thing to do. For members also, we have to implement the same. Currently, the member can only be deleted. We need option for editing and uh, refreshing this table. So in this video, I'm going to do that. So <clears throat> first of all, I'm closing everything first. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to the list member section. So instead member list or FXML, I need a context menu, which is already there for delete. I am going to add two methods, one for refresh, one for edit so i'm going to put the edit so when i click on this here i need handle member delete i don't want handle member delete i need handle refresh then i need handle member instead of delete i need handle member edit so that part is okay then i'm going to the coding part and making the controller so here also we have the load data method as we have seen in the last video so load data before load data we have to clear the list so list dot clear i have clearly explained why i am clearing this in the previous video so i hope you are understanding because i am just doing this fast because this is just a replication of what we did for the books itself so list dot clear then this part is okay then what i need is handle refresh i need to uh call load data here so load data refresh part is okay now i need to handle the member edit so in order to handle the member edit i need the help of code from member book edit option so book list where is this book yeah book list controller is there here we have a beautiful method handle book edit option so i'm just copy that into here so here <coughs> it is handle member edit that's the difference so here first of all i'm not fetching uh, the book say list control dot book i am fetching the member object so <coughs> member member selected for edit that part is okay then no member selected please select a member for not for deletion oh i changed uh, i forgot to change that it is not for deletion i just change it to edit sorry for that change then member list controller here also i need to change that to edit so that part is okay selected for edit then here instead of add book dot fxml i need some other fxml i need add member so it is ui dot add member so this is add member package then instead that i have member add so member underscore add dot fxml is the fxml that we are interested in then here definitely we are not fetching the book add controller we are fetching the member add controller so member add controller controller equals then i am going to type past it to member and controller then there is no inflate ui because we haven't added that then edit book is changed to edit member and when we close the stage we need to refresh for better usability that is exactly what we need no need to change there then here what i'm going to do is i'm going to put in i'm going to do an inflate ui so that is public void inflate ui so I have inflate UI method here, which will give me an object of which class? Yes, member class. So I need member class. So member, <coughs> member. Then instead member, I need these four fields. So I have to edit those fields. So name dot set text, member dot get text, member dot get. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not get text, get name. I'm sorry. Then uh, name. Then I have ID. Then I have mobile. Then I have email. So four fields. Then here, instead of getting name, I need to fetch something else. Here I want to fetch ID. Here what? Here I want to fetch mobile. Here I want to fetch my email ID. So that part is okay. 
now inflate your part is okay and then just like before we need a private variable here so private boolean esim edit mode because we are using the same ui for two purposes false i'm going to set is edit mode to false then if it is in uh, that part is okay then here is in edit mode here if it is in edit mode i'm going to set it as true is in edit mode it is in edit mode so when we call this is inflate ui it will be in edit mode boolean dot true that much part is okay now what we need is <coughs> we have to uh can't instead of just add member can't process member please enter in all case because we are not just adding we are processing it here we are checking whether it is in edit mode is is in edit mode if it is in edit mode we have to update member or simply handle update member we will just call this method i have to create that member then i have to return if you say make that mistake of not returning because if i am updating member i don't have to process this much code there because i am not adding it so this much is okay i need to do one more thing i forgot to uh, implement the cancel option here so here i will do that also so i need a stage object basically so stage then name dot get scene dot get window which will be a scene object which can, might have which will be having a close option so dot no i don't have that so i have a stage get window then i need close then i will take it to the variable stage stage equals get window oh i haven't imported that that was wrong so stage dot close <coughs> so that much is okay then handle update member so here what i need to do is i need to do the back end processing i need I like the database processing here i wrote a method handle refresh handle book edit option this was in the it's my book list controller so first i have to change it here control dot inflate ui is showing errors so let's see what's the problem inflate ui selected for edit that part is okay now i need uh, i need to borrow some code from book at add book so here add book i have a book at controller and in the bottom position there is handle book edit option so i want to do exactly the same except i am not adding book i am adding uh, i am not editing book i am editing member so here okay then book list controller dot book equals no i need to create a new member so I have to change that so member member equals new member so member is there so members name should be fetched using get text id should be fetched using get text then uh, mobile should be fetched using get text i'm sorry then email also should be fetched using get text so that much is okay so there is an error no there is no errors i have to just import the member so now that part is okay then database handler dot update book there is only update book i don't have a uh, what i don't have a update member option so coming to database handler i need to add one more method instead of update book i need update member so here i am going to change the function name to update member and instead of passing a book i am going to pass a member so then here i am going to change that member so here update book no i need to update member set now i need the fields of member so i have issue table member table is here name mobile email and id so simple fields only so first i need to set the name email mobile then since the primary key is id i'm just leaving that id to id itself so first of all we need to set name so for that i can call member dot get name then second i want to set email id so member dot set get email then as the third option i need mobile so member dot get mobile number then fourth one is get id which will be the same for 
member also then we will execute the statement if more than one row i mean at least one row i mean there is only one row that if that is updated we will return true otherwise we will return false in case of one any error so coming back to member add controller we don't have a database handler object so we just have to database handler dot get instance dot update book if i am not updating book i am updating member so member then instead of book i can pass member success then here if it is a success i can show member updated can't update member so that's it we have done what we have done in the last two videos in a different i mean exactly the same but instead of book we are just doing with member let us run the program and hope everything <laughs> just works gc and root then uh, coming to view book section not, not view book view members i have genuine order member id 100 so this is definitely a problem i shouldn't be able to edit a member id because editing id will uh, make issues with the database so uh, in in, in free UI, i am going to set id dot set editable that has to be first so that has to be, that's okay that will be changed in the next uh, <coughs> starting so i'm going to change my name from genuine coder to afso <coughs> then I'm, I'm going to press a member updated and if i close this one you can see because of the stage callback that we have done it is automatically updating it and also we have definitely the refresh option which will refresh the entries which is also working and for just the sake of confirmation let me check whether the add member is also working so i'm going to add a new test member so test member one let this member id be one not one then let his mobile number be 974 ran a number then i am going to set his email id as test member at genuine order.com save he is saved now going to view members there is test member 101 then i am going to change this uh, let me just restart the program to make sure that the edit for id is disabled right now gc root then coming to view books sorry again view books view members then here i am going to the edit option then i have the member id which is not editable that is very good then test member i'm going to change this one i'm going to change this to 990 and i'm going to change this to one underscore one member updated so 101 nine zero test member one so that's it guys uh the member edit is also now working it's fine so far i think the library software is uh, getting better and better every day so thank you guys thank you for watching this video please give your suggestions in the comment box because that will help me to improve my presentation or the way of coding and also please uh, comment your <coughs> comments in the comment section so as always, thank you for watching this video. Like the video if you like it and subscribe for more cool videos.